Hey, what is up, guys? It's JoyBot22, and today we're going to be reviewing Scalebound. And. Um. What? Scalebound was cancelled. For the, for, for the beta of the Xbox One. Microsoft exclusives. Yes. What? But, but it looked really good. Well, I don't know. I can review Ghost Recon Wildlands. Uh, uh, maybe we could just, I guess we can swap the review. Anyways, guys, I was really excited for Scalebound, and it's unfortunate that they did cancel it. It was actually meant to come out this month, and I will go in there in Wildlands. But Microsoft made it Microsoft. Hopefully, there's something better on the way. And we can all put the scale bound dilemma behind us. I love you, Microsoft, but you need to step up your game. I mean, they've got Horizon Zero Dawn out, um, the new Zelda's out, and what are we stuck with? We're stuck with Oh Halo from two years ago or Gears of War. So, guys, please just hear me out, Microsoft, and do this for me. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy your day. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Um, peace out and enjoy the review. Thanks. Anyways, guys, right off the bat, this game looks stunning. This is one of the screenshots I took after taking down one of the bosses. I'm going to start off with, wow, this game is beautiful. There's so much to do in this world. It's always booming. There's always something going on, whether it's something to do with the cartel or whoever you're fighting this is just a beautiful world and props to Ubisoft they did really well huge by the way giant absolutely enormous this map is like three times the size of GTA or something or but it is really big and it's really nice and a lot of work has gone into this game the only issue I have with this game to be quite honest I'm gonna get out of the way it's it lacks features kind of like in-game features because the game is really good and there's always weird glitches also weird glitches in this game like my friend will be running after the plane or after the car and it's just so weird i'm sure they'll fix that every ubisoft game is glitchy at release it's something i've begun to respect uh, like expect and anyways guys this game is amazing. You can take any approach you want to a mission, and especially with friends, the best thing is when something actually goes wrong in the game. Because when something goes wrong in the game, that's when it kind of like kicks in and you have adrenaline, and it's just such a good game. Well done on Ubisoft for doing all this work, and I think it was Ubisoft France. Anyways, um, the game is best played in co-op with buddies. If you meet like a few randos without marks, it's a bit weird playing this game and I, I thoroughly say you need to use a mark with this game. This game is best when you're with your buddies and you can just chill. Sorry, this uh, mission I did is from the open beta. I do have the full game, don't stress. Um, it's just one of the best missions I did, I'd say. Most stealthy missions. And yeah, that's why I'm kind of showcasing this mission. Anyways, this, what I wanted to talk to you about, the soundtrack. The soundtrack in this game is really good. I got the deluxe edition, and it came with the soundtrack. The soundtrack is just really good. Local artists, it's very good. I didn't think I'd enjoy it, but it's, it's quite nice when you're on the roads of Bolivia. And I'm happy I got this game. Let me just say that. There's a PvP coming, which I am super excited for. If anyone has played Ghost Recon, you know the PvP is freaking awesome. And I think one of the awesome things about it is going to be tactical. So it's going to be kind of like a more of a Rainbow Six Siege vibe. And I am so stoked about that. This game has really awesome sound effects, I'm not gonna lie. They, well, I don't, they're nothing compared to Battlefields, but they're good for a Ubisoft game, let me just say that. And 
it reminds me of the division that's why i think i fell for it so hard because i love the division and what was i gonna say now there's great and awesome uh, mechanics in this game like the skill mechanic i love it skill mechanic is great in this leveling up like very low rpg skills but uh, it's a good skill system and i enjoyed it um, I'm gonna go on to the gunsmith. The gunsmith in this is exactly like Future Soldiers, and if you enjoyed that, you'll love this. It is amazing, especially in this open world. Um, the only issue I had was getting weapon parts. Weapon parts are really annoying. You have to go and find them around the map, and that's... It just takes a little bit of the immersion out of the game. Anyways, oh, there's me picking up the skill point. This is like... You know what you do you pick up skill points in the world you do side missions you help the rebels it's like one way you it's like survival and yeah well that's pretty much all there is to this game and i love this game it's really good and i see a very very big future for it especially with the pvp coming out i'll maybe give you an update on the pvp maybe do a few videos of me playing if you want that let me know and yeah anyways i will be making more videos very soon and enjoy your day please remember to like share and subscribe thank you so much guys